Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Um, doing a follow-up video. Uh, I did a video about a year ago. Uh, it was on a Timex Expedition Scout 43 men's watch that I did. Uh, it was called a first impression video. And uh, I, I kind of showed the watch and what I told what I thought about it when I first got it. And I mentioned that if I had anything come up or anything uh, happen or to it or anything like that, I would uh, make a follow-up video. And that's why I'm here today. Um, it did, something did happen to it, and that's uh, why I'm making this video. Uh, about it's, a bit, it's about a year old right now, and uh, I should have made this video a while ago. I just didn't get to it. <clears throat> about two... Two months before the year was over, uh, I noticed the watch was slowing down, and uh, I just assumed it was a battery because I figured uh, when I got it, I bought it online, and I just figured it was sitting around for a while and it just needed a battery. Um, so they had a thing where you can send in and get a battery replaced uh, or get it checked out and see what's wrong with it, but it cost $8, and uh, I found batteries less than $8, so I just put the batteries in myself and come to find out that it wasn't a battery it still was not keeping time um, so what I did is I did end up sending it back in uh, paying the eight dollars and two weeks later they uh, sent me a new watch uh, it's a little bit different uh, very similar but uh, it's a little bit different uh, the one they sent me has got a it's a expedition uh, and it's the same size and got pretty close to the same style band and everything on it um, but it's what they call a chronograph watch now I'm guessing they don't make the other watch no more they didn't have any I'm not sure um, so I'm guessing this one would probably be a little bit more expensive of a watch um, I really didn't want a fancier watch but I mean, it don't bother me it's just uh, it's a little bit more complicated and stuff. Uh, a chronograph watch um, has like a what the, like a stopwatch on it, uh, a hand, a minute hand, and it tells the seconds and stuff. Um, so you can like time somebody running or just time anything. Um, so it's kind of nice to have. It's kind of a little bit different to get used to the 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 hand the uh, second or minute hand i guess you call it uh doesn't move unless you're timing somebody so like when it's just on the regular watch and you're not t using the timer it just it's stopped so it kind of gives you the impression when you first look at it that it ain't work working but it actually isn't supposed to be working until you're timing somebody um but i had to kind of figure that out and uh but once you get it figured out it's okay um, so I'll, I'll bring this in closer to you and you can see the two watches. So I, now that I bought the batteries, uh, they both use the same battery. And, uh, so I got spare batteries. Um, so, uh, one good thing is, is they send you the old watch back and you get to keep it. They put a sticker on the back. It says, cannot be repaired. Um. So I got the battery that was in there back again, and plus I got an uh, extra watch band I can use, and uh, probably could use the case if I needed to, if something happened to that case. Uh, so it's kind of cool that I got extra extra spare watch band. Uh, so I guess I uh, kind of broke even by paying the $8 and getting, getting it repaired or, or getting a replacement. So I'm gonna bring this in close to you, closer so you can see. Um, the service was very good from Timex. Uh, they, I think they said that it would be within two weeks, and it was. It was in two weeks. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. They took care of me very well. Um, and they sent the old watch back, so I, I would not expect them to do that. Uh, but that's pretty cool, so, so I got a spare watch band. So I'll bring the camera in here close so you can take a look. Um, just wanted to make this video so you can see uh, what kind of luck I had with this watch and uh, eventually I'll probably do a, a review on the new watch that I got um, the, the chronograph watch it's an expedition one uh, but after I keep it for a little while longer then I'll probably do a review on that 
Um, so I'm going to get the camera now and bring you in closer so you can see the two different watches. Alright, here's the two watches. Uh, this one here is the old one that started slowing down and uh, stopped keeping time. This one right here is the new one that they uh, replaced it with. And you can see it's got a few more gauges on it or I don't know, dials on it and stuff than the old one. And uh, this one has a black bezel and this one is more like a silver or chrome color. Uh, but the bands are pretty similar. One's a little bit darker than the other. Uh, but they're the same size and everything so they would interchange. Um, but just wanted to give you a close-up view here. Uh, and then after I keep this other one for a little while and uh, see how it works and I'll do a review on that. So um, uh, if you got any questions leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, I'm not a watch repair person or anything, uh, but if there's something I can answer, I'll, I'll sure try to do that. So uh, thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.